Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Frank DeLuccio! Well, good morning, Lakeshore. How you guys doing? That was weak. Let's hear it. How you doing? All right, you send shivers down my spine. We're, let's meet our contestants this morning. We're going to start off right here. What is your name, sir? Robert Orlowski. And how many kids do you have? Two. Two kids. Let's give a warm welcome to Bob. Thomas Ray. Thomas, are you related to David Ray? Uh, yes, I am. I feel sorry for you, sir. <laughs> we know he at least has one son. How many kids do you have? I have two. Very good. Thank you. Again, first name? Tom. Okay. Very good. Matt, right? That's right. Matt Comer. How many kids you got, Matt? One. All right. Very good. This is, this is Team Robert, okay? You're the team captain. Let's meet our opposing team today. What is your name, sir? Brian Vandewall. And how many kids do you have, Brian? Two. Two kids. All right. Team Brian, our captain. What is your name, sir? Paul Christopher. And how many kids do you have? Three. Three kids. All right. Welcome, Paul. And you, sir? Team Janakos, two boys. Two boys. you got to wait for the microphone. Oh, two boys. Okay, very good. All right. We've got Team Robert. And Team Brian, we're going to go head to head right now. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, Robert and Brian, you guys are up. I think you know the rules. Put your hands right here. I'm going to ask you a question. And the first one to hit the buzzer gives an answer. Are you ready? The top seven answers are on the board. And the question is, name something men like to have with them while watching TV. Robert. A cold drink. A cold drink. Is that up on our board? Very good. All right. Robert, would you like to play or pass? Drink. We're going to play. We're going to play. All right. Very good. They're going to play it. All right. Tom. I need a snack. You need a snack. Yep. I need a snack. All right. Let's see his snack up there. Very good. All right. Matt, name something men like to have with them while watching TV. Clearly the remote control. Oh! You know, when I was a kid, I was the remote control. We had a black and white TV with a dial, and for you kids that don't know about those things, let me tell you, I got my exercise. Okay, do we have a remote control? All right, very good. All right, Robert, we're back to you. Name something men like to have with them while watching TV. Their pet. Their pet. Okay. Is pet on the board? Ah. Okay, guys, you get three strikes. Tom, what is something that men like to have with them while watching TV? Um, just, I've lost on this one. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I got to have a blanket. A black. <laughs> David, can we have a talk? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it a snuggie? <laughs> All right. Is it blanket? Ah. Oh. All right. Team Brian, get ready to steal. Be thinking of an answer, okay? All right, Matt. Name something men like to have with them while watching TV. Hmm. Pillow. Is it pillow? Ah! All right, guys, here's your chance to steal. What is your answer? Name something men like to have with them while they're watching TV. We say recliner. Ooh. Is it recliner? No! Team Robert, you guys win that round. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's see what our remaining answers are. Number seven. Their wife. Um, I don't know what you're watching, but <laughs> number six, clothes. You better wear clothes. Number five, eyeglasses. And the last answer, number four. Okay, phone, yeah, because you got to call your buddy, right? Because you can't talk to your wife who's sitting right next to you. All right, round number two, let's have Paul and Tom. You guys are up.
Gentlemen, the top five answers are on the board. Name something a father teaches his kids. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> That $65 is coming back to pay for this, you know. Tom, Tom name something a father teaches his kid. Um, how to play baseball. Is it how to play baseball? The number one answer. Do you guys want to play or pass? Play. Play. Okay, they're going to play it. All right. Matt, name something a father teaches his kids. How to ride a bike. Oh, good one. How to ride a bike. Oh. Go figure. Robert, we're back to you. Name something a father teaches his kids. How to help out around the house. Oh, chores, yeah. Is it chores? Obviously a generational thing. Name something a father teaches his kids, Tom. Respect. Oh. Wow, if chores isn't up there, let's see about this one. Respect! All right, good answer. Name something a father teaches his kids, Matt. How to treat others. How to treat others. All right, is that up there? How to treat others. All right, Team Brian, you guys have an opportunity to steal right now. What's it going to be? How to drive. How to drive. Is it up there? It's up there. All right. One for Team Brian. So now they are our winners, 80 points. So let's give them a round of applause. Let's check out answer number five. Armpit noises. And I guess number three is pull my finger, right? Number three. Shaving. Yes, I teach my daughters that all the time. Okay, let's have a round of applause for Team Robert. Thank you guys for playing. You guys can exit the stage. Gentlemen, since you are the winners, we're going to go to our fast money round. I need two of you to play the fast money round. Who's it going to be? All right, Dean and Paul. All right, one of you is going backstage into an isolation booth where you will hear absolutely nothing. And Dean, you're going to stand right here, and we're going to face the audience. I'm going to ask you five quick questions. We'll put 20 seconds on the clock, and you get to answer them rapid fire. Are you ready, sir? Sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, speak into the mic nice and loud. Very good. What do you do when a baby cries? Pick it up. What's something kids put in their mouths? Pacifier. What's a word that kids find funny? Fart. What special occasion does your wife expect you to remember? Birthday. Name a mess that kids make around the house. Food messes and stuff like okay, that. Okay, very that. good, very good. All right. All right, let's turn around. Nope, we're going to oh, check your answers good. out. Okay. okay, here we go. The first question was, what do you do when a baby cries? Dean, you said, pick them up. Survey set. 23, not bad, not bad. What's something kids put in their mouths? Dean, you said? Pacifier. All right, survey said? 15, not bad. What's a word, by the way, you need 150 points to win this. What's a word that kids find funny? Dean, <laughs> you said? Fart. Fart. Here, pull my, fin pull my finger. I might be funnier than the kids. <laughs> survey said? Eight. Wow. They're not my kids, I guess. Obviously not our households. <laughs> what special occasion does your wife expect you to remember? Dean, you said? Birthday. Birthday. Survey said? Eighteen. Name a mess that kids make around the house. Dean, you said? Food. And survey said? Eighty-nine. Not bad. You're more than halfway there, Dean. Right. Here, I'll take the microphone. Let's bring out Mr. Paul Christopher. Any day now, Paul. He's in isolation. He can't hear us. Here comes Paul. All right. Paul, we're going to step right back here. Okay. Okay. 
We're going to put 25 seconds on the clock, Paul. You've got 25 seconds to answer the following five questions. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Are you ready? Yes. What do you do when a baby cries? Feed it. What's something kids put in their mouths? Toys. What's a word that kids find funny? But. What special <laughs> occasion does your wife expect you to remember? Anniversary. Name a mess that kids make around the house. Anything that could spill. All right. Very good. Good job. All right, let's turn around, Paul. We need 150 points. You're starting out with 89. Oops, oh, excuse me. My wife made tacos last night. You need 150 points. We're at 89. There's the answers that Dean gave us. Let's check out your answers, Paul. What do you do when a baby cries, Paul? You said... Feed it. Survey set. Ten points. What's something kids put in their mouths? Paul, you said toys. Survey set. Three. Wow. What's a word that kids find funny? Paul, you said <laughs> but. <laughs> Survey. I'm dating myself with that one. Survey set. Thirteen. What special occasion does your wife expect you to remember? Paul, you said anniversary. Survey said one th uh, 20 points. You're 15 points away from winning, Paul. Do you think he's going to do it? All right, here we go. Name a mess that kids make around the house. Paul, you said the uh, proverbial anything. We're going to talk to you and Rachel about the way you're raising your kids. The survey said 18, they won. Congratulations. Congratulations, gentlemen. Good job, guys. We have some special gifts waiting for you. We know as dads that our cars can get really messy. And so we have for you brand new cars. Let's show them, Patrick. Very good. Thank you, everybody, for playing Family Feud, Father's Feud. Happy Father's Day.